Trying to see if this works. I'm such an amateur. Bear with me. All this new fangled tech. Trying to see if okay. this works. I'm such an I'm such a troglodyte. Um, in the live chat, just let me know if everything's coming through loud and clear. That would be greatly appreciated. Today, we are going to be talking about Ampleforth. Something I have discussed many a time before, but today we're going to going deep because I think it's quite exciting mm, let me just tweet this out apologies for the teething issues okay done uh, I'm crypto frog thumbs up subscribe disclaimer no financial advice ever now this is not the first time i have done uh, a video on ample forth just going through my collection here i have done rather a lot and i was making videos about ample forth like before the DeFi summer of 2020, I will have you know. Uh, Joe Mangles says, sounds good. And uh, Vasanth Vak says, crypto YouTubers coming back online again. Definite bull run vibes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. You can follow me on Twitter or X as it's currently known. Uh, crypto frog 202 if you'd like to support the channel like i say in my last stream about a week ago um i've taken monetization off all of my streams um so if you could support the channel in another way that'd be greatly appreciated uh, this echo is doing my head in it. I sound like retarded. Can you just s s say in the chat, do I sound retarded? Just a why or a no? God. Anyway, let's talk about Ampleforth. My old friend. I had probably one of the biggest wins in terms of cryptocurrency on ample fourth in the summer of 2020 it was ridiculous um, but over the past month or so ample fourth has been positively rebasing every day and i think there's a reason for it a good reason for it it's kind of grinding up but ample fourth really is one of those tokens i think where you eat you either love it or hate it it's like marmite or vegemite um because i've had a wonderful experience with it i will always have a place in my heart for it um but as you can see the price is one dollar fifty three cents but that's not what we're paying attention to really the market cap is 42.7 million us dollars bear in mind that for a brief period in the summer of 2020 the market cap of ampleforth hit over 1.5 billion dollars let's scroll down here so pulling up the market cap looking at the price of a single ampleforth really isn't 
uh, worth doing. Um, as you can see here, these were the days. Uh, Monday the 27th of July 2020, the market cap oh, hit 700 million US dollars and continue to go on big spikes and dumps for quite a while. Um, but as you can see, the market cap has trailed off. But in the past couple of days, past month or so, you see it ticking up. And I think there's a reason for that. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is don documenting Ample Forth. Good uh, Twitter to follow. Documenting Ample. John Sharp, Sharp says no for some reason. Um, yeah, you can see the market cap here. This is from the Ampleforth dashboard. Hit $1.6 billion once and is currently back down here. But they're still grinding. And this is Brandon Isles. He's the core contributor to Ampleforth and Spot. More on that in just a moment. Um, but the spot rotation vault became live in August of 2023. And as he points out in this tweet, any user with any amount of ample can help secure the spot flat coin. Staking maintains ample forth rebase exposure and gains ample yield in the process. In case you are new to what Ampleforth is, it is a rebase token. It rebases once a day, about 2 a.m. UK GMT time. And let's pull up the dashboard. As of the current time, the market rate of one Ample token is $1.54. Uh, the price target is $1.17 and it will positively rebase if it's above $1.23. Uh, the supply is only 34.2 million right now, but if it rebases, uh, it's probably online for like a 3% rebase um, later today and hopefully for many more days to come. The supply will go up 3%. Your tokens in your wallet will go up by 3%. I think the most recent rebase was just over 3%, 3.04%. But um, Spot, which is the flat coin that the Ampleforth team have come up with, now has the vault open. So you come onto the app here you can go into the vault you can see you can stake your ample forth so however many you have in your wallet click max or just enter an amount and stake it for st ample and as far as i'm aware this gives you like a one point to x the size of the regular rebase you get that as a result of backing spot so based on the most recent rebate of 3.04 percent people who were staking instead of getting th they got 3.04 times 1.2 so they got about three 0.75% rebase positively for doing nothing more than just staking their ample in in the vault. And now let's have a look at the There is actually about 6%. Let's have a look at the stats. That's where it is. 
if you go down here, five point eight two nine four nine percent of the entire ample force supply is in the spot vault. Which is quite impressive because people want to take advantage of that bonus added to their rebase. And actually the ample fourth, let's go back like a month on here. The market cap, as you can see over the last month has risen from 23 million to 42 million. And bear in mind that if you'd been holding ample all that time as well you just be compounding rebase rebases over again and again and again and i was reading in fact that this is the longest expansion of supply since sport launched at the end of 2022 so it seems that within certain circles the cat has really gotten out of the bag in terms of what's going on with Ampleforth so we have around six percent of outstanding Ampleforth staked in the vault and that's securing spot what is spot spot like I said before is this decentralized flat coin that uses tranching instead of liquidation markets to provide stability that scales apparently brian armstrong of coinbase is an investor in spot and there is some talk about potentially coinbase making use of spot in one way or another and the advocates of spot really think that since it's the first flat coin it's not calling itself a stable coin it's actually better than a stable coin because it's kind of like an inflation busting alternative to stable coins so it's resistant to cpi it's completely decentralized we saw the issues that happened to um usdc earlier this year uh, it's not exposed to liquidity runs like stables and it's based on the Ampleforth rebasing algo unit of the account. So where does this leave Ampleforth? Well, considering it's such a low market cap and it has been rising up the ranks, it's currently back in the top 500 cryptocurrencies. It was down like 750 before, but the devs and the team are still grinding. As you can see, they got spot came out. So I think it definitely has more utility and is more useful than it was when it had, when we had that retardo gigapamp um, in the summer of 2020. And I think people are kind of seeing now that spot is going to suck up a large degree of the supply of ample so hopefully the supply becomes more scarce and the rebases just keep getting higher and higher and higher the one difference is compared to the summer of 2020 when there was like unlimited rebases like you could get up to 20 percent positive rebases i think they capped it at 10% now uh which is good it's not as de degenerate of course but it helps the stability of it all so you have the vault the spot vault so that is leveraged because you get the 1.2x so it continues to grow so it, you know you hear this term flywheel quite a lot but i think this is quite a big flywheel they had the geezers the geysers whatever you label them 
uh, back in 2020. But uh, the reason a lot of people didn't really like the geezers is because you lost a bit of the positive rebase while you're in there. Whereas the rotation fault on, which is here, is a medium on it by Brandon Isles. Is the opposite because you get more rebase while you're staking instead of when the geezer was around you'd get less rebase while you're staking if you if you get what i'm saying so i think going back to the 10 percent cap on yeah the fourth airdrop was insane brother although i could have got more i don't know why i didn't get more um so yeah, what makes me think this time may, may, I should stress that, may be better. So they have a maximum rebase of 10% daily. Don't get me wrong, compounding daily interest of 10% is butter. But it makes the price appreciation much more kind of stealth mode compared to when we were getting 25% rebases back in 2020. And it makes just everything a touch more predictable. So yeah, I just think, I mean, if you're into your DeFi coins and all that this probably isn't going to interest you but if you're in it for the long game if you're looking to be able to sleep soundly at night knowing you're not going to get bloody rugged uh, ample forth at 42 million dollar market cap with all this ecosystem that they're building around it in my opinion is not a bad call but no financial advice, of course. I remember when Ampleforth went from something like it was now, like 25, 30 million market cap, all the way up to like 700 million in about a month and a half. And I rode it the whole way. So that's why I have a, a real soft spot in my heart for for Ampleforth and I see no reason why it couldn't go much higher this time this is the supply you see during the summer of 2020 the supply went nuts if the supply went back up there and the price was two bucks it would be printing money hard and i do like the way that these uh, spot vaults which encourages people to stake because you get 1.2x bigger positive rebases kind of like takes away a bit of the cell uh, pressure and you, you can see it's i wouldn't say it's outperforming the market but it's doing pretty well Let's have a look on the Gigster. Yeah, over the past one month, the market cap is up 71.8%. Now, I think you'd struggle to find any of the bigger, more established crypto projects that have grown over 70% over the last month, but I still think it's cheap. No financial advice, of course. But should it become a multi-billion dollar protocol and if spot really takes off i'm gonna be laughing to the bank because i did buy some i was speaking to my uh, giga community in subscribe star you can become a member too and get exclusive access to the giga legend tg where we chat about various stuff i was discussing with them that i was keen to get in about two weeks ago 
um, but I didn't pull the trigger. But earlier today, I decided it's time to pull the trigger. Um, and just let it roll till like Christmas and see what happens. Which, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this compound thing. So I bought 10,000 ample. Uh, let's say, let's say if I get 3% interest on the daily. So if I left it in there for one month from now, which would take me till the end of the first week of December, from my 10,000 ample forth, I'd have 24,500. So from my... 10,000, 15,300 uh, purchase if I were to sell them and the price was the same I'd be able to sell it for 37 and a half thousand US dollars this is just theoretical of course but if I and I don't think that is particularly outside of the realm of possibility. Let me just say that. And so two months. So this would take us into early 2024, early January. Calculate 10,000 ample, just leaving it for two months. That would leave me with 60.4K. I say, okay, happy new year to me. Better not tell Mrs. Frog about this money. Sell it for 92.4K and go to the Porsche garage. But yeah, take a look at this spot road fault Let, let's just read what mr. Brandon Isles says so what is spot it's a decentralized flat coin that uses trenches rather than liquidation markets to provide stability that scales the system of trench rotations are an important agreement ingredient in enabling this scalability and robustness blah 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 what are rotations recall that spot is backed by senior ample tranches the senior tranches if left alone would mature into the raw underlying ample unless they were rotated first the spot protocol incentivizes market actors to take out older tranches maturing soon in exchange for newer tranches maturing later blah 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 want to be a rotator what do I need to participate? Ample. You can stake or unstake in the vault application here. Do I lose my rebase exposure? No, you still get it. The vault holds ample, which rebases. And you get more. Does the vault require any extra work? Aside from the initial stop stake operation? No, just leave it in there. Do I need to claim my vault rewards? No. Get them when you withdraw. Can it decrease? Yes, it can, of course, if it negatively rebases, but I can't see any reason why it will do in the near future. No financial advice, of course. And then when you exit, you redeem your vault notes. You get a proportional share of all the assets within the vault. This can be a mix of ample spot, A tranches and Z tranches. But basically, 
Conclusion, staking Ample into the rotation vault is a single-sided staking mechanism for Ample. It provides Ample yield with no impermanent loss. No finny, says Tim Slice, legendary. Reverend Flashback, welcome. Guts, frog, sup, sup. God dang, legend. Uh, yeah, so fucking have it. Run it one more time, biatch. Let's go, let's go. All right, well, I promise I will be back more often. Um, I've got to be a little bit more quiet because Mrs. Frog is in my fucking face. I used to be able to enjoy doing this without her around, but fucking hell, get out of the house, get a job or something, fucking hell. Uh, if you want to support the channel, because like I say, I'm not monetizing these videos because there's literally no point. Um, what's a dollar a month from YouTube when you can join my subscribe star and join probably the best telegram group known to man. So yeah, keep an eye on Ample Forth. No one's really talking about it on crypto Twitter, which is the time when I like to put my balls on the line and say let's fucking go let's go um if you search the ticker uh ample forth on crypto twitter you'll get loads of information there um read the mediums and shit oh god i'd love it i won't have the balls leave it in there i, I wish i could put one and a half months I suppose if I can make the difference, 60, 24, so probably like 45, because I, if I would drew it exactly at Christmas, say 40, let's go in 42 and a half, 65k in my pocket from 15k, shit please, my familia, my familia, all right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, no financial advice. Subscribe, click the bell. I will be coming back to do more uh, streams in the near future. Uh, once. Oh God, so many technical issues, man. It's like OBS is a piece of shit. In case you don't know what OBS is, it's like a streaming thing. Anyway, you're all legends. Until next time, peace out.